Well, Super 35 millimeter has been the sort of de facto cinema standard since the mid 90s. The Super 35 millimeter is important because you instantly have that cinematic look. The images were smooth and uh, sharp where I need them. I think that everybody is inspired by cinema. Now I have the FS100, I can really go back to the creativity of filmmaking rather than worrying about the technical aspects of, uh, of the limitations I had with the DSLRs. I'd said that I'd never go back to shooting with a conventional video camera format. And then when the FS100 came out, what really appealed to me and what's unique about that camera at its price point, it's not a conventional video camera. It's a little box which is basically a cinema tool. And that's what we've got here, is we've got a digital film camera for a very, very low cost, but without compromising any of the picture quality that we've come to expect watching the cinema. If I'm gonna go out just for myself, I'm gonna strip it down and take it as small as possible because the image is still gonna be the same and I don't need all those little bits and pieces. That's what I like about the modularity bit, is keeping it really nice and small. Our clients are blown away by the quality they see. They're not used to this kind of quality for their sort of budget. This is just gorgeous what comes out of a camera. I believe that this camera can fit a multitude of different filming environments. And that is something which hasn't existed in a camera before. One thing this camera has brought to me is it's finished a lot of the frustrations I've had over the, the last year shooting with DSLRs. The FS100 for me is um, the new Bolex, what the Bolex was in the 60s and 70s. The FS100 is today.